Hi, I'm Neil Adams, and I'm here to take you through some of the main teaching points on each of the Gokyo techniques. Whether demonstrating or teaching, I like to use the whole part whole system. The whole being where I demonstrate the technique as a whole, and then I break it down into individual elements, and then later put it all back together again as a whole. And I'd like to try and encourage you to use the same system in your coaching process. But before we get to the Gokyo, what I'd like to do is concentrate on some of the basic principles that are essential for all judo technique. When I teach Kumakata and Kazushi, I use the traditional sleeve and lapel grip as a starting point and differentiate each hand by its fundamental function. The sleeve hand I call the control hand. This is normally placed at the elbow along the underseam of the judogi. It controls the shape of the technique and guides the throw throughout its execution right to the end. The lapel hand I call the direction hand. It creates the direction of the throw and determines where the opponent will land. Together, the control hand and the direction hand create kazushi, the breaking of balance. I also find it a useful teaching aid to refer to the concept of balance lines. There are two such balance lines to be aware of. The horizontal balance line is the point at which Uki is stable to the front and back, whilst the vertical balance line dictates the stability to the left and to the right. When situated on these balance lines, an opponent is strong and firm and cannot be thrown. Kazushi works by displacing Uki around these balance lines, thus breaking their balance to the front or back over the horizontal balance line, and or to the left or right over the vertical balance line. The opponent is now weak and able to be thrown. These balance lines also need to be considered when teaching the relevant foot and body positioning for each throw. In order to properly execute a technique, Tori must be positioned correctly over their own balance lines. Without careful attention to this, students may position themselves incorrectly and lack the core power and stability to throw. Therefore, proper instruction should always ensure that feet are placed so that Tori is on the correct side of the balance line with every step, thus giving them the overall advantage and making it less likely for them to ever be countered. A general point of focus when teaching Kazushi should always be the head, as without it Kazushi can often be ineffective. In this example, a lack of proper head movement leads to a failure to force Uki far enough away from their horizontal balance line. But when the head turns as it should, Kazushi becomes far more effective, displacing Uki way off their balance line. Therefore, the head is an essential part of teaching any throw. A good teacher cannot afford to be lazy on any of the above points. Practice doesn't make perfect, it makes permanent. So in order to develop the proper skills in our students, we need to make sure that it's perfect practice every time. 